Welcome to the Road Safety Authority's video explaining how to safely cross an unattended railway level crossing. This video was developed in partnership between the Road Safety Authority, Erin Road Erin, and the Commission for Railway Regulation. There are over 150 unattended railway level crossings around the country. This type of railway level crossing is usually found on minor roads where there are low levels of traffic. However, it is still important to know how to use them correctly. At unattended railway crossings, the railway is normally guarded by iron gates which open out away from the railway. The gates must be kept shut. There is no other protection. Unlike level crossings which are attended or automated, you are solely responsible for opening the gates before you cross the train tracks and ensuring the gates are securely shut again once you've crossed to the other side. When used correctly, unattended level crossings present no more danger to road users than those that are attended or automated. Here are some simple steps to take in order to safely use an unattended level crossing. There are five steps in the rail cross code. Step one, always expect a train. Step two, stop, look both ways and listen. Step three, give way to trains. Step four, when the railway is clear, cross quickly. Step five, shut and fasten both gates after you. Step one, always expect a train. Modern trains are much faster and quieter than earlier models, so take every precaution to ensure your safety. Unattended level crossings are guarded by iron gates and accompanied by stop signs. If you are looking to cross an unattended level crossing, stop your vehicle well clear of these gates. The gates at a level crossing must be opened away from the tracks, so allow enough room for the gates to open fully. Step 2. Stop, look both ways and listen. Do not use your mobile phone while crossing and always switch off any music systems that may distract you or prevent you from hearing an approaching train. Open the windows on the driver and passenger sides of your vehicle to help you hear approaching trains. If you are on foot or on a bicycle, always remove your headphones, hood or other items of clothing that might impair your sight or hearing. Step 3. You must always give way to trains. Carefully read and follow the instructions provided at the level crossing. If in doubt, use the phone number displayed at the railway crossing to seek advice. You must open the gates on both sides of the train tracks before moving your car across the railway. Where possible, ask another adult to operate the gates on your behalf. When the gates have been opened, move your vehicle forward to the white line and apply the handbrake. Look right and left, watching for the lights of approaching trains and listening for a train horn or whistle. Step 4. When the railway is clear, cross quickly. Only when the tracks are clear in both directions should you cross. Next, drive across the train tracks quickly and stop well clear of the crossing on the opposite side. Step 5. Shut and fasten both gates after you. Having stopped your vehicle safely and well clear of the gate on the other side, it is your responsibility to go back and close the gates on both sides of the track securely. Even if there is traffic behind you, make sure the gates are properly shut before moving on. If you've opened the gate, you are responsible for ensuring that the gate is properly shut afterwards. Don't assume someone else will do it. If the gates were open when you arrived and you've crossed the railway, make sure you close and secure them afterwards. Don't just leave them open or assume someone else will close them. Not only is this reckless, it is against the law. Leaving a gate open after crossing is a known cause of collisions at level crossings and can have tragic consequences. For further information on safety at railway level crossings, please visit rsa.ie or irishrail.ie.